the first thing we found was a very large debt. A debt of over 3.5 million as we have already announced and regrettably we do keep finding more. The income here now is around about between 22 and 25 million per year and yet um, it hasn't been looked after properly. In the one month that we've been in place, we have held six meetings. We have met with all the senior management, including our coaches and our players. And um, we've been at Rugby House, one of the trustees, every single day, investigating and working with various staff to get the information we need. And it's been a hard road to hope. It's been not easy. Um, we have found huge challenges and I think that's the hard part is that we believe that rugby is, you know, it's not just a sport anymore. It's an operation that is, should be run like a major corporation. The income here now is around about between 22 and 25 million per year and yet um, it hasn't been looked after properly. So I think the first thing we uncovered in going through everything and that's remember that the two people on each side are accountants. So the first thing we found was a very large debt. A debt of over 3.5 million as we have already announced and regrettably we do keep finding more. We actually found several court cases that are in action that could have a large bearing on that debt as well. Nothing we wanted to find. We have to now find a way to pay those debts and to address the issues raised in court cases. So it hasn't just been about what happened with the Fijiana 15s. Sorry, we we're in a lot bigger mess than that. We are very glad that we were able to address that. And we can talk on anything. This is, we're going to be open for questions at the end of this. One of the things we noticed, you know, we all talk rugby and we're part of a rugby family, everybody in Fiji. But we actually found a very unhappy and unworkable culture at Rugby House itself. Everybody was protecting themselves. 